In India, tuberculosis has a very high mortality rate. Despite government efforts, it continues to claim lives across the country. One major reason for this is the lack of proper diagnosis due to faulty tests. A new test recommended by the World Health Organization is yet to take off in the country, and that has put a huge question mark on India's ability to fight with a disease that claims lakhs of lives each year across the country. time bomb is clicking. Two deaths related to TB occur every three minutes in the country, which is now the TB capital of the world. Experts have stated the reliance on cheap and inadequate TB tests resulting in inadequate treatment, also fueling resistance towards the disease. And yet, the government has still not managed to clear the one test recommended by the World Health Organization for tuberculosis testing. Last year, WHO recommended the gene expert test capable of detecting tuberculosis within two hours of a patient visiting a doctor but it is still being validated by the health ministry. The government says this is necessary to ensure the test meets all required norms set out by the government. Sources also point out how the test needs to be made cheaper for private hospitals so that the poor can benefit. Experts say these stumbling blocks need to be removed urgently. A test which has been endorsed by WHO, a test which is being used worldwide, a test which has shown its success all over. Why do we want? They have been evaluating for it for nearly one year now. Hmm. And they say it will take maybe one year more to evaluate it. Hmm. So in this much of time, how many millions of people, how many thousands and lakhs of people hmm. are going on going to go on suffering? Patients are being made to pay for these tests. Labs are actually given directives by larger private labs to say that in this test is banned, but in its place, you can use this test, which is also a serology test. But this inaction has led to much confusion within the ranks of the Indian medical fraternity. Till two years ago, as a first step to detect tuberculosis, many doctors across the country relied on a basic blood test that looked for antibodies in the blood for TB causing bacteria. The test didn't cost much, but the problem, most of these tests were inaccurate sometimes testing negative for patients who were later diagnosed at an advanced stage. The test also sometimes diagnosed TB in people who did not have the disease. Last year, India became the first country to ban these tests. A few alternatives were recommended, including tests like smear microscopy and the sputum test. These tests are available for free at government hospitals and at a very nominal cost in private funds. But the problem is, they too are not reliable and results differ from lab to lab depending on how well staff are trained. And so doctors used to the banned test for years are still recommending the same tests across the country. It's so vast country, it, it has been notified banned, it will be banned. India accounts for more than 21% of total tuberculosis cases across the world. A simple step like taking the correct test could go a long way in changing this. The question is, can the government do it? With Sonal Mehrotra in New Delhi, Vega Bakshi for NDTV.